Hello everybody and welcome back to my art videos. So excited that you could join me today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today we will be working with the concept of positive and negative space. Now positive and negative space are really important when creating an artwork that has balance and rhythm. Now positive space means that it is the area of focus in your artwork and negative space is the area around that area of focus. For example, if I were to draw or paint my mug right here, also you guys look how cute it is, it says teaching is a work of heart. Okay, back to it. If we were to draw this mug, this would be the positive space, this would be the paper would be the negative space. This is our area of focus. This area all around it, all this air, this white part, that is the negative space. Now I want you to look into the negative space in your work of art is a shape. And those shapes help develop what that positive space might be. So for today, all you will need is some tape, some paper, and either color pencils, watercolors, paint, or markers. I'm gonna be using watercolors with mine because I'm gonna show some cool watercolor techniques. Feel free to use whatever you have at home if you don't have watercolors, but I look forward to seeing you in just a second. So I start out with taping down the corners of my paper, and I did this so that my paper wouldn't move all around, and so it would help eliminate the water ripple effect that you get when you get a paper wet. I should have taped down all four edges, but I forgot, which is not good, but that's okay. And then I took my tape and I layered it on top of each other and then cut out some different shapes. I cut out triangles, trapezoids, squares, circles, and you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I thought that would be more fun. And then I took some long pieces of tape and I covered my paper with that. That is a great option if you don't have scissors or don't feel like cutting, it's totally fine. So I'm just adding some more tape and then I'm gonna go in and cover my entire painting with some different colors. So this is creating an abstract work of art. Now abstract is a modern art which does not represent images of our everyday world. So you can see that I am not thinking about this very much and I am just putting down color wherever I feel like it. So abstract art has color, it has lines, and it has shape, which you can see by the shapes that I added with my triangles and trapezoids, etc. And then I'm going in with my lines and I'm filling up my entire page. Now this is important because when we pull off the tape, it'll look it'll look really, really cool. So the more you fill up your piece of paper, the cooler it will look. And so, oh, right here in the corner, I am blowing on some dots. So I'm just taking the paint, splattering it, and then blowing on it with a straw and also just with my mouth. You can also use a sponge and lift the paint, which means you're taking some of the paint off and make some cool sponge effects. So see what kind of techniques that you can come up with and that you can create. So I'm just adding some more lines across my entire paper. And then once I feel like this is done and fully covered, then I will set this aside to dry. So now we're back and you can see that my paper is now dry and I'm starting to peel away the tape. Oh, this is so satisfying. Have you guys ever seen those satisfying videos? I feel like this is one of them. It's okay if you're tape didn't cover all of it or if some of the the paint bled through that's totally fine sometimes that happens um so i'm pulling all the tape off and you can see that those lines have created the negative space now all of the shapes with color those are my areas of interest and that is my positive space like we've talked about before so I'm peeling all this away and then we will see this really fun and exciting painting. Now, if you want to, you can go back into your painting and you can draw on top of it and not make it abstract. Sometimes when we have our work of art, we find 
nuances and areas where it kind of reminds us of an animal or some type of something that we recognize. So if you feel like it, you can go back in with a, a marker or pencil and draw some eyes or make them make the shapes come to life and turn them into beings. Or you can just leave it simple as is as an abstract work of art. Well, I hope you guys had just as much fun as I did on that activity. Um, the point of what we were doing is creating, like I said before, that positive and negative space. And in the video, like I mentioned, if you don't have watercolors at home, that's totally fine. Feel free to work with markers, pens, colored pencils, anything that you have at home. So I hope you enjoyed this activity as much as I did and I look forward to seeing what you created. See you next time.